So my whole life I thought I was like an extroverted person, which is funny because now as 28 years old, I'm not. I'm introverted and I've always been that kid in class who's been loud, the kid who's always kind of just like joking around or the person who's been like able to talk to people, strangers comfortably and and still be able to I guess just talk to people, find big groups, it's fine and everything is fine. I think around high school, I think that's when things started changing. Not changing, I guess no I started noticing. I was able to talk to people just fine, big crowds and I could handle everything. But then I just become very, very exhausted of just being able to like talk to everybody. As soon as I would get home, I'd be like, "Oh, perfect! I don't have to talk to people for the rest of the day, and it's cool, it's chill, I'm good." Um, and then finally, um, when I was in university, it's when I kind of started realizing well, I was like, hmm, "Maybe I am not, I'm not an extroverted person," because I always thought I was. Just because I thought I was very like uh, comfortable and confident talking to people. But then as soon as I would get home, I just, I couldn't handle it anymore. I would just want to get home and just chill and not talk to anybody ever again until the next day. I can only handle certain uh, time frames when I talk to people. If that makes any sense. And the ironic thing is, I think that's one of the reasons why I I stream. And I think that's just because of the fact that since I really enjoy talking to people and I love talking to people, but not so much, I guess you could say, like, <laughs> it sounds crazy, right? Not so much in the outside world. Streaming has helped me with my introversion because if it wasn't for streaming now, now that I'm done in, univer in like, with university, I think I would just be home alone most of the time. And I'm, I'm not, like, lonely, but I don't think being cooped up all the time 100% by yourself is a good thing either because I think having inter human interactions helps you grow and streaming has definitely made me feel comfortable too to be able to talk to people and hang out with people and not only that just stay <laughs> stay at home that sounds like a real easy person but I guess I really enjoy being a hermit and then being having like access and meeting access to people and meeting people just just you know by my place. I think the idea of being an introverted person or I feel like I I guess I can like basically I can move back and forth from being okay in public and introverted but as soon I know like the I guess I know, like, the more comfortable me is just being at home. And, or not being at home, more like just being uh, alone and keeping to myself. I guess it's just that. I grew up with hobbies that have molded me in that way. Because, you know, I like to paint. I like to play video games. And all the video games I play are, like, single-player games. And all the hobbies that I have, like the building Gundam painting miniatures, they're all kind of solo hobbies, not very like, they're, you know, they are heavily community oriented, but those are things that you kind of do alone, and that's why I enjoy them so much, and I guess I don't know what it is exactly that has led me to being such an, like an introverted person, which is ironic because usually when I tell people, they're like, well, I don't notice it. And it's like, well, little do you know, I just want to go home and hang out with myself. And I'm not saying because I don't like people. It's like I really love people. I really love interacting with them. I think people are really funny. And I think um, getting to know people is so interesting just because it makes us so different. The thing about this is just because I took the myers break test. And, you know, it's supposed to be a scientific questionnaire, right? And yeah, I know my tone might have 
made it seem sarcastic, but I just took it for fun just to see. I mean, everybody's taking it. It's supposed to be. Or, like, I guess more of a reference of how you make decisions in life and stuff. And I ended up testing the for the INFJ personality, which means introverted, intuitive feeling, and judging. <laughs> I'm a judgy person. Just kidding. But kind of makes sense because I'm usually the type of person that kind of goes off of the morals of the situation, even if it's not the best one. Sometimes I feel like it's better to make a choice based off of my own morals, and I don't know if that's a good thing, but that is how I realized how I um, designed my life, if that makes any sense. And I, I think throughout life, too, I've always been like a... Um, sensitive person and I think that's more to like sensitive within myself or sensitive for other people um, I'm usually the first one that notices like something is wrong with somebody based off of their body language or if I'm in a crowd because it sounds creepy but I really like people watching I'm usually the first person thinking like oh man these these two people talking from far away are not, are not um, in the happiest conversation or they they're having a really good conversation and I guess that just makes me realize sometimes like how growing up I've had a lot of you know I'm growing up I've had a, a lot of friends now I don't because that's just because I'm a hermit and that's totally fine you know now I have like three or four good friends and that's perfectly acceptable but I guess growing up I've always kind of invested in friendship where I've been very open with people and I care about them a lot and sometimes it just kind of sucks to hear that they're going through something rough and you know I'll talk to other people about things like this and they don't seem too worried it's like oh it's okay they'll get through it and for some reason like <laughs> when I talk to somebody I know or at the time my friend um, they'll be going through something rough and it would just hurt so much and I guess um, I have a lot of like empathy and I think that's a flaw in a sense where sometimes I guess I'll just kind of want to be there to help and the best thing to do is just to be there and, and listen instead of trying to solve the problem and I think that's two you know those are two different people being um, wanting to be there for somebody obviously which I want to and then also somebody who wants to be there for you and wants to solve it right away and that's not the way things work and I think that's just the way I've been and that's something I've been working on my whole life and trying not to be the what is what was I saying the um you can't really test people's personality off of the Myers Myers Brig test I'll link it in the bottom if you guys want to talk about your personality <laughs> you guys can take the test I think it'd be fun but um it makes sense because it says that you can be stubborn and I'm 100% stubborn. I have to be one of the stubborn people that I know and, and that's a problem. I don't like people telling me what to do. It's just, it's sad but it's a known fact around my family. Um, it's sad because it's just a known fact around my family and friends that I don't like people telling me what to do and It's, it's bad. That's one of my really bad traits along with, um, I guess I have like, uh, what is it called? Quick to get mad. I get quick to get mad too and those are two really bad traits. But, but yeah, I, I, I like going back and taking this test just to review. I guess reviewing it and thinking about myself and how it relates to me and how things are can be in, pretty accurate here and inaccurate because it says that um, people have a really hard time to get to know me and I don't think that's true I think that's just because I'm very open with you guys and I talk openly about me and my life and just how I think about myself and I think that's just due to being an introvert because you know if I'm, I'm alone that's what I'm thinking about most of the time is is reviewing my own actions and realizing why I am the way I am. Um, 
but I think at times, sometimes I guess, I have a problem with opening up to myself maybe too fast to some people, or just being open, and I, I don't think it's a big deal, but obviously if you're, you're the complete opposite of a very a reserved person, you might think it's a little overwhelming, or sometimes I think I, back in, back when I was much younger, like much, much younger, I think a little bit more naive. I would meet someone and I, we were really cool and sometimes I would think, oh man, we're like really good friends and it turns out I thought we were good friends and I was putting in more effort and attention than the other person. And that's fine. And that's fine. And later on I realized that, oh shit, I was overthinking the friendship. But in fact, it's that I was overstepping my bounds. And I think when you're young, it's just the way it is. And obviously when you vibe with someone, you vibe with someone. It makes me laugh because as accurate as I think this test was to my personality, obviously there's some imperfections. I also think that you can't test a billion people into this only 16 personalities. You're probably a little mixed in with other ones. But, I mean, it was pretty accurate. I thought it was kind of cool. I thought it was kind of cool and one more thing to bring up was just the um, intuitive aspect, and I think I rely a lot on um, my intuition as well. I just have sometimes these weird gut feelings, and I try to, you know, your whole life people tell you to to be bold. They tell you to not rely on your gut feeling, and then they tell you to rely on your gut feeling. I think after almost 30 years of being alive, I want to say I want to rely on my intuition more. Because intuition isn't just like a bland feeling. Intuition is all these like patterns that you slowly realize that things happen, things, bad things happen or good things happen. And that's something that is uh, really important. And um, I guess that's part of the INFJ trait is that they have, they they either rely on their intuition or they have decent intuition because um to me it just really i always thought like intuition was just a natural thing that comes to people and it isn't some people just have no intuition and that's fine um but yeah this was basically a rambling video about my myers-briggs personality test but i think it's funny because that all comes down to i think the idea of just being introverted and extroverted and I guess at the end of the day we are who we are